This video is sponsored by Squarespace. See this lens right here? This is probably the best portrait lens I've ever used. The 200 millimeter F2 Canon. And if you've ever used one, you know the magic that this lens can make. But is it worth that crazy price tag? It costs almost $6,000. And how does it compare to the 70 to 200 2.8 lens that is a lot cheaper it's a lot more practical can you get similar results using this lens at 200 millimeter that's what we're gonna find out Hit roadblocks and then go back in Help me. I'll, I'll tell you when okay this is what it's like being a content creator and a father you find a way to get things done no matter what first up is the sony a7r3 and the 70 to 200 2.8 lens most of the compositions that I'm choosing in this video are not because I'm actually trying to take a nice photo, but I'm picking locations that I think would make for a great comparison between these two lenses. All the images that you're gonna see in this video are straight out of camera, so you can see exactly what they produce. I chose this spot because of the big yellow tree that's behind her, and to test out the bokeh and how it handles all of that foliage. I chose to shoot Diana here because of the colors of the trees behind her and how much depth there is here. Also, the cars on the side make a great point of comparison in Boca. This background included some street lamps and some other lights. And I was actually amazed at how much more of a 3D cutout photo I'm getting with the 200 millimeter f2 than the 200 millimeter f 2.8. There are many negatives to using such a long telephoto lens for portraits, but one of the main strengths is able to compress the background. I'm able to pose Diana next to this random bush and make it look like she's in a field instead of an alleyway. Okay, so this is the first image that we're gonna be looking at. Sony is on the left with the 70 to 200 2.8 and the Canon is always gonna be on the right with the 200 millimeter F2. So this is the thing. I shot this from really far away. So I'm kind of negating the fact that the 200 millimeter was shot at F2 because you're not gonna see that much of a difference, but you can still definitely tell that this one was to the 200. You can even look at the brick on the side right here where it's just a lot softer and on the 200 to eight, you can, still, you can still see the texture of the brick and the shadows and everything like that. Moving up, you can see that on the 28, you can tell that this is a clock. With the 200, you can barely even tell what this is. And again, the 200, everything's just a little bit softer right here. You can see the difference, but I think I was just a little too far away for us to see the magic of the 200 in action. So the next image, Sony's on the left, Canon's on the right. And again, this is, I'm shooting from kind of far. This is like a full body environmental portrait. Right away, you can see right here, the textures in the background are a lot softer right here. It's just big ball of just a fused texture, right? And over here, you can actually see texture of the tree and what's going on back there. Um, looking at the tree, looking around the body, that's what really gives it the, three, the 3D cutout. Look at, you know, I need to zoom in a little bit more. Look at here, you can see that the outlines of like the leaves and look at here. Look at how it's just all just diffused together. That's what really gives this image that 3D cutout. Again, I can tell that this is shot with the 200 millimeter F2, but I don't think this is convincing enough that, you know, convincing enough that you should, you should spend this much more money on a lens to get just a little bit more of an out of focus background all right my friends this is what i'm talking about this is a little bit more of why i just i hold this lens so high like this is a magic a magical lens and this is a great example this is a full body shot but i'm closer to her look at the colors and what it does to the background here to the trees it is just unbelievable look at the window up here whatever this is it looks more like a window up here it's just completely diffused look at the textures right here look at the window Look at that. Look at how much, it's just incredible. Incredible. She looks like she's popping out of the scene here from the waist up. 
looks like it's just like a fake background here it looks like i can kind of make out what's going on here this is just beautiful i love how it renders this background okay so this next shot i saw it in landscape because look at how busy the background is here so let's compare it right away you see the textures of the white the white lines right here look at how much more diffused it is on this side look at next to her hand the white lines it's completely blown out completely blurred out where here you can actually see the the defined lines of whatever that is the paint and yeah this to me looks like a 3d cutout yes from your screen it may not look like a big deal both both images are really sharp but from my point of view what i see here i see i, I see a pretty big difference i don't know about you let me know in the comments what do you see a big difference here all right here's the final image and this is obviously a lot closer but there isn't much going on in the background and i think that's why you could barely even tell which one is which i mean i can tell because you look back here and you can see that obviously this is just more blurry more fused together but when you look at her she looks equally sharp on each side uh you can tell you know maybe on this side a little bit more blur but i don't think to take a shot like this you can take this with a 7200 and you'll be perfectly fine um i can't say <laughs> i can't say there's nothing i can't say there's anything magical on the 200 f2 side here but i feel like if there was more texture and more like let's say there were like more specular lights in the background i think it would really show out but here i can't say that okay so i have a feeling that most of you are not going to be convinced <laughs> mainly because of course this is youtube you can't really see what i see but the lighting was really flat in those images and i felt like it was be if there was better lighting the image would pop more but anyways i hear have the 85 1.2 canon rf focalicious right Nikon 105 1.4, Sony 135 millimeter f 1.8. All of these are bokehlicious lenses. Coming from someone that's used them all, this lens. There's something special about this lens that these lenses cannot replicate. The 200 millimeter focal length compression combined with the wide aperture, you get something that's unique. And if you were ever in, ever in the market for something to give you a, an image that most people are not used to seeing with their eye, you know, it's it gives you a different look. This is the kind of lens that you want. But I can't say that it's worth $6,000 unless you have like a business plan behind it, unless this becomes like your style. If you could buy into a whole system of cameras and lenses for the price of this bad boy. But when you do get it, you're going to appreciate the look that you get from it. And because of that, actually, I'm going to make a video, combine uh, a comparison video, the ultimate portrait lens video like I did before. But this one with the 85 1 2, 105 1 1.4, 135 1.8 and the 200 millimeter F2 battle of the fast aperture primes, the sexiest lenses you can buy. That's coming up next. I'm actually filming that tomorrow. So you better stay tuned for that one, baby, because it's going down like four flat tires, baby. I, I already used that joke. It's it's bad. All right. And I have to thank my sponsor. That made this all happen that is squarespace if you are looking for a website blog or an online store you should be checking out squarespace i have been using squarespace to host my website for years i have an e-commerce store with them you can make one yourself it's a, it makes for a great side income i sell my lightroom presets and my retouching tutorials on my website i love how my work looks on there and if you ever want to change things up you get bored you don't have to hire someone to make you a whole new website you can do it yourself at a click of a button change everything up you have to check it out use the coupon code manny and you will get 10 percent off your first purchase so check them out stay tuned for the ultimate portrait lens video coming to you soon